Hey YouTube, this next diecast review will be on Juan Pablo Montoya's 2010 Target Chevy Impala for Earnhardt Ganassi Racing. Uh, this is a really cool car that I got off of NASCAR.com, I think, um, in 2010. And obviously this was his main uh, sponsor in 2010, and it's actually been his main sponsor since. So, let's take a quick look at the box. We got one... 42, um, Earnhardt, Chip Ganassi Racing, Juan Pablo Montoya, number 42, Target, 2010, Impala Limited Edition, the code 164, Scale Stock Car Limited Edition Collectible. It is foreign up, Action Gold Series, Action Racing Collectible, still the choice of champions, barcode NASCAR. Action Racing Collectible is the NASCAR hologram, and warning, choking hazard, small parts, not for children under three years. Now on the bottom of the box we have Motorsports Authentics RCA official GM licensed product handcrafted in China and RCA members.com. So let's open this up. Um this is actually cuz you guys all know about my uh Hendrick fan 885 account cuz I've obviously told you guys about it. This is the first time ever that I am reviewing this car. I've never reviewed it on my other account and actually this is the first Juan Pablo Montoya car that I've ever reviewed god I hope I spell it right when I go to type it in because it's gonna kinda be a long title and yeah so anyways here's the car the red looks really nice with this car um and yeah obviously it's a 2010 car so most of you guys already got this but anyways so the main sponsor is Target Chevy Impala 42 Goodyear Mod Comp, Edelbrock, Sunoco, Holly Mechanic, Wear Spring Cup Series, 3M, USJ, oh my god, uh, 3M, DirecTV, USG, Toss It, uh, Mobile One, Automator, um, Dow and Jigs are all right there. NASCAR official race car, uh, wherever Juan Pablo Montoya is from, Juan Pablo Montoya is, um, the signature, uh, we got some stuff right there. We got Mountain Dew. Uh, Armor All, um, Kraft Mac and Cheese, uh, we got some Microsoft, um, Tom Tom, uh, Gillette, some toilet paper brand, uh, Target, Tums, and Bass Pro Shops right there, that really small logo. Um, on the top we have Lysol and Energizer. With the 48 over here, also we got Target on the shark fin, and this side is the same. So anyways, um, like I said, this car is nice. I do like the red design to it, and I do like that the fins up here are red as well. Um, yeah. So, like I said, this was his main paint scheme for then and it also still is today. So that is still pretty cool that his Target car is still the main paint scheme. And yeah, so let's take a 360 view here. The left, front, right, back. I also top. I also think that this car looks nice with the red and white. So if I had that to give this car a rating, I'd probably give it a nine out of ten, just because I like how the red and the white mix together, and I think it just looks awesome. So let's box it back up. So. Um, most of you guys already know NASCAR starts again this week. Not the first points race, but it is what formerly was called the Budweiser Shootout. I think it's called now the Sprint Unlimited um, at Daytona. So um, practice begins on Friday, and I cannot wait for NASCAR to start again because I can get this count rolling, this account rolling. And Friday night, I'm also going to be making my predictions for the Budweiser. Well, what was called the Budweiser Shootout. I'm going to be making my predictions for what is now called the Sprint Unlimited. So stay tuned for that on Friday along with two diecast reviews because I'm reviewing two cars every day now. And yeah, so here is the car. Here's the left, front, right, back. Thank you guys for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe to HendrickFan8848. And I will see you guys in my next review.